So I'm standing here in a room that epitomizes solar astronomy. We're in the Altazimuth Pavilion, and the telescope behind me is actually one of the classic solar instruments that was used here in Greenwich to make very detailed observations of the sun for many years, decades in fact. Um, but Greenwich has a much wider history of observation of eclipses, and it goes right back in many ways to the very first astronomer royal, a chap called John Flamsteed. He was born in Derby, and when he was 16 years old, he made his first ever astronomical observation of a solar eclipse from Derby. And he would later go on to become the Astronomer Royal here in London. And as a result, eclipses which fascinated him from the very beginning of his career would continue to be a research interest here at the observatory right through, for example, to the 19th century when the astronomer George Airy was sending out numerous eclipse expeditions to try and study the atmosphere of the sun. And through into the 20th century, the Astronomer Royal Frank Dyson was actually one of the central figures in making sure that eclipse expeditions were organized to test Einstein's theory of general relativity, which was published 100 years ago this year and was famously tested by Arthur Eddington off the west coast of Africa during the 1919 solar eclipse. So Greenwich has been absolutely instrumental in eclipse study for hundreds of years.